Like the word cloud, a fog, perhaps a ring, a somewhat different bell in different people's minds, and that's just fine.、Uh, my definition, if you will,、uh, is that fog is about the cloud to things continuum, what I call the C to T continuum.、Uh, it is about distributing services. Computation, communication, control, storage—all these services along that continuum, and often closer to the end users, maybe the things, maybe on the edge.、Uh, and in doing so, it has the potential to tip the balance of power of the entire IT and IoT、uh, industries food chain. The balance of power. Uh, going all the way from the cloud to the things,、uh, and fog computing in particular、uh, is very exciting research and development area、uh, because it drives the question、uh, that's an architecturally fundamental question: and how do we rethink the relocation of these services along this continuum? How do we decompose and recompose、uh, different functions along this continuum? I think of fog as an horizontal architectural foundation, sort of like TCP/IP for the internet,、uh, and it supports different vertical domains of applications. And 5G is a big one, including all the work、uh, related to rethinking the radio access network RAN, like fog RAN. Another big pillar is indeed Internet of Things (IoT)、uh, and. Uh, as we just talked about,、uh, fog in many people's mind today is indeed about cloud to things continuum. So that IoT application domain, whether it's、uh, commercial or industrial, is very important. And the third pillar of application, in my mind, is embedded artificial intelligence,、uh, bringing the power of machine learning closer to the endpoints of cyber physical systems. Uh, open Fog Consortium is an open organization, and this reference architecture is also an open document. It will feed into multiple standardization、uh, in the coming、uh, months and years,、uh, but it is certainly an open contribution to the general community. And I think the team there has done a remarkable job of. Consolidating many different viewpoints from industry and academia, different parts of industry represented there. It's an iterative process.、Uh, we are、uh, at the beginning of a long process of augmenting, refining, and leveraging that. And I will certainly encourage、uh, the industry friends and university colleagues to go take a look at this first public edition. Of the reference architecture, it talks a lot about the kind of new services that can be rolled out, and the kind of challenges that must be addressed in order to support the fog computing. Our open、uh, fog consortium itself is not a standard setting uh, organization, uh, but it is already working with uh, multiple uh, what they call SDOs. Uh, in exploring pathways of translating some of the reference architecture into different standards, whether that's a standard for cellular networks, or standard for local area network, or standard for IoT,、uh, industrial or commercial uh, sense, um, I'm very optimistic about this process.、Uh, there are great partners working with the consortium. And there are great team members within the consortium、uh, driving this forward. Now, as to the industry、uh, co-founding members or the current members in different tiers,、uh, if you go to our members meeting, you will see the energy, the enthusiasm, and the level of dynamic conversation going on there. There are many benefits, including access to the conversation, the ability to influence. The drafting of the current and future iterations of reference architectures, and be part of this ecosystem that is going to define and drive 
fog in the coming 10, 15, 20 years. Fog excites me most because it's asking big architectural question. Where should I do this? And now we have a lot of potential answers and we need the kind of work that Open Fog Consortium is now doing uh, in order to answer that critical question. And in the next 10 years or so, I see fog disrupting the industry food chain. And those who participate early in defining and driving fog will be better positioned uh, as the value proposition shifts between the cloud and the things. And some will stay with cloud, some will move to the things, and some will go somewhere in between. Uh, it is a process that we are starting now. And in 10 years, and maybe faster than that, uh, we will see how some of the uh, outcome will impact the industry food chain's value creation. Along the way, I think outstanding research questions will be posed and some might be addressed by colleagues uh, around universities around the world.